right, Nasha. You asked for it. Fetch! This! <laughs> Face, a big, mean looking fish. Oh, are we going fishing? Kind of, but if it was that easy, somebody else would have caught it by now. So, what are we going to do, Dennis? Listen and learn, Curly. Listen and learn. Up to. We're going to catch a fish. Not any old fish. The legendary pike of Beano Town Lake. Yeah, the legendary pike. Uh, pike. Legendary pike, eh? Walter, how does it feel to be the man who caught the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake? I just want to help science in any way I can. <laughs> When the pike comes to the edge of the lake, I'm going to tickle it like this. <laughs> Fish love it. It hypnotises them or something. I saw this man do it on TV. <laughs> and how are we going to get the pike over here? Here's the genius part. I've borrowed the fishmonger's sign and a bit of mum's makeup and. Ta da! A lovely ladyfish. Have I overdone the lipstick? Here, fishy. Kissy, kissy. Here it comes. Means war. I thought the monster fish of Beano Town Lake was just a legend. Me too, Bertie. But Dennis claims to have seen it. We can't let that menace catch it. Exactly, Dudley. If anyone catches that fish, it's going to be me. I shall become famous as the boy who caught the legendary monster. <laughs> if this gullnet can stop a cannonball kick, 
It should be strong enough to hold a pike. What are we going to use as bait? A clothes peg? Oh, not that. These! Uh, what? The stinky old fish? Very old, very stinky. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Nasha. You swim out there with the fish and we'll throw the net over the pike when he appears. <laughs> Go on, boy! Off it, Curly. It's only a fish. Actually, I'm impressed. You know, it could be one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that music coming from? Oh, no. Keep it up, chaps. Your soothing music will send the fish to sleep. And then... <laughs> hey, presto! The pike will be my ticket to fame and fortune. Fame and fortune? What's he talking about, Den? I reckon Walter's planning to put the pike on show. In an exhibition or something. Oh, no, that'll be terrible. Everyone gawping at him. I know, Curly. We've got to stop him. And I think I know the way to do it. Come to me, my fishy friend. <laughs> oh, ha! Here he comes. Uh, keep playing, boys. This is one drowsy fish. <sighs> OK. Uh, hold steady. Heave! <sighs> uh, What is that? You wouldn't want that in your exhibition. <laughs> here, over here. Here's your legendary pike. Come and get her. <laughs> hey, that's not a pike. It's not even a real fish. We've been tricked. <laughs> you rotter! We thought there really was a fish. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm going to tell the fishmonger you took his sign. <sighs> the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake can remain a legend. Come on, lads! <laughs> you know what? I'm glad we didn't catch him. <laughs> Poor old 
grand. Crashed her motorbike again. Still, at least these flowers should cheer her up, eh, Nasha? Excuse me, madam. Do you know where I can buy some flowers, please? Hey, mister, I'll sell you these if you like. Plenty more where they came from, eh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Uh-oh. Guy, you! We're with the flowers. What? Hang on. Oh. Hey, you. No dogs. It's a toy. Anyone can see that. Look, you pull his ear to make him wag his tail and you press his nose to make him bark. <laughs> oh, that's good. Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic, isn't it? So, you were sold the flowers by a boy with a dog, were you? I think I know who that is. Hello, Dennis. How's me bike? Bad news, Gran. I'm afraid it's smashed to bits. Smashed to bits? Oh, I was only doing 150. Oh, but never mind. Go and get us a cup of tea. All right, Gran. There they are. Dennis, just as I thought. Come on, come on. What's the matter with the lifts in this place? Get him! Till I tell you. <gasps> right, Nasha, we're out of here. Nasha? <gasps> Come on, where are you? <gasps> Who's a lovely little baby, eh? Dad is going to be ever so proud. And look, here he is. Hello, love. Hello, is that my little boy? Yeah, love. Oh, he's gorgeous. And look, he's got hair already. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Here, I've uh, got something for you. Oh. Ooh, is it my favourite? <laughs> Might be. Nasha, ear boy! Oh, we 
it is. Oh, you know how to spoil a girl. Mr. Mrs. Fletcher, sorry to trouble you, but there's been an outbreak of baboonic plug. Baboonic plug? Ooh, I've never heard of that, have you, love? No, never. Hmm. Maybe it was bubonic plague. <laughs> oh, is it serious? Thought we'd just have a light snack to steady our nerves. That's very kind, love. Shame little Junior can't have any. He's taking it all in mind. Look how he moves his head. He's eating meat already. I reckon we've got us a child prodigy. Oh, that's nasher for you. One sniff of free grub and his brain turns to jelly. How are you going to get him back? Simple. We put this down the chimney. He bites on it, we pull him out. You serious? Who'd be daft enough to climb up on the roof with a fishing rod? What? The authorities are now searching Beano Town for the perpetrator of this wicked hoax in which people feared they had caught bubogic plane. I'm sorry, that's bubonic plague. <laughs> got into him. I think he wants to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Well, don't let him get dirty in the fireplace. <laughs> yeah, what's this? It got him! <laughs> Hang on by face! <laughs> 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 into a lot of trouble for this. Why? We're only borrowing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, love, but this is beginning to cost us a fortune. Better that than a baby who won't eat. <laughs> now what's got into him? Dennis, you are so busted. But it was an accident. It's all because they took my dog. Stop talking nonsense. You are coming with me, my boy, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when your dad finds out about this. Where are Mr and Mrs Butcher? You left your baby at the hospital. Our baby? Huh. What do you call this, then? <laughs> you see? It's true. This is your baby here, Mrs Butcher. Look! <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> think that you're off the hook, Dennis. But what about his house? It doesn't matter. We're just so happy to have our baby. Oh, seems you are off the hook then. Whew. Nice of you to treat us like this, Mr Butcher. My pleasure, son. Thanks to you and the insurance, we've got our dream home. Are you sure Nasha won't have some? No, thanks. Not until he's lost a bit more weight. <laughs> Go on, my son! <laughs> Goes out! 
It's officially summer! Hang on, where are you off to? I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday! But we can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, pie face. Savour the taste of freedom. Oh, OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, hey, all right, let's go. School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely he can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <coughs> Aha! Uh, hello, Colonel. Has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK. Technically, that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. <laughs> I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. But for some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike. A month. through some wet cement. Six months. And some thorny bushes. Two years. But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years. Dennis. How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded. But what for? For ever. This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded. I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. Ha ha! So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah, After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis, it's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room. You too, Nasha. <laughs> Now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. Here are your stray pups. Oh. 
you're trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. In here. I've got to get out. But I can't, because everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for. So, if they can't see me... Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. I'm out of the house. And no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Hmm, it's quiet. Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Hmm. Oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on me own. I might as well accept me punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> hello, Mr. Bowles. Lovely to see you here. Yes, I know. <laughs> Crowning Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. Looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it. But only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh! Aww. Dennis! I won't be back till Sunday. Are you sure you can look after yourselves for an entire weekend? Of course we can, dear. No problem. Don't worry.
worry, Mum. You just go off and have fun. I'm not going away to have fun, Dennis. It's a yoga retreat. It'll be very hard work. Remember, Gran will be coming over tomorrow to help with B. Yes, yes, Mum. We'll be fine, won't we, Dad? Of course we will. We're a team, <laughs> me and Dennis. Now, you just get going. Enjoy yourself, dear. We'll take care of everything. Project? Uh, sort of. It's a pi thing. Ah, mathematics. Pi r squared. Mm, could be squared, Dad. <coughs> or it could be round. <coughs> Thanks for letting me do this here, Den. My mum's banned me from our kitchen. Not surprising, seeing as your last pie making effort blew out the windows. I just used a bit too much yeast, that's all. Hang on. Here's the instructions. Uh, Insta Pie. The pie in a box for delicious pies in seconds. Just add water. Just add water? Boring. I'm going to find some stuff to spice it up a bit. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> Dairy style whipped cream. Lemon flavoured pie making product. Meringue type pie. Topping stuff and pork sausage flavour enhancer. Pork sausage flavour enhancer? Isn't this meant to be a lemon meringue pie? It's not just for us, right? It's for Nasha too. <laughs> Never heard of lemon meringue and sausage pie before. There's always a first time. <gasps> Dennis, what did you just add? Bulk full stuff super booster. Well, it's super boosting the pie right out of the basin. Quick, to the bathroom! <laughs> this stuff's magic. All we need now is water. Oh! Ooh. Krishna Vashti Rubber Spine Pose is a level one exercise designed to bring about total relaxation. So clear your mind and just relax. <laughs> relax? Oh, easy for you to say. The first paper clip was designed to fasten labels to garments and textiles. The double bend single manifold paper clip was a great step. Dennis! Invented by Hiram P. Dennis! Wow! Oh, 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 oh. Ladies, we move on to the inverted lotus blossom. Look deeply into your inner self. Think beautiful thoughts and let yourself go. <laughs> running smoothly, I see. No problem, Gran. If this isn't a problem, Dennis, I'd like to know what is. Uh, where's B? B? B! B! Curly, pie face, help me clean her up. Oh, no! 
Now, Swampy, that's enough of that nasty stuff. I'll find you some nice chocolate. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. You're in big trouble, Dennis. Hey, what am I saying? We're in big trouble. No problem, Dad. I've already got an idea about cleaning up this mess. No, it was one of your ideas that made this mess in the first place. We'll clean it up my way. You're lucky your mum's away for another day. Just get this. Oh, it's good for fathers and sons to bond. I don't want to overdo it, though. And anyway, they might need me. Dennis, guess what? I'm coming home. Right now. Well, this yoga thing isn't as relaxing as I thought. And anyway, once you've done one inverted lotus blossom, you've done them all. <laughs> oh. So I'll be back in a couple of hours, just in time for you to make me dinner. Mum's coming back. Well, of course she is. She lives here. No, I mean now. She's catching the next train and she wants us to make her dinner. Well, what are you waiting for? You will all get cleaning. I'll head her off. You push it. Now, you just... Oh. This isn't working, Dennis. I have an idea, Dad. on anyone before. Oh, they call it the inverted lotus blossom. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It doesn't look it. But don't worry, I know just the thing. We'll find you a chiropractor. A what -o -practor? Someone will give you a nice soothing massage. <laughs> It's working, Dad! But will we get it finished before Mum gets back? I told her we were going to look after the house, not totally trash it! This isn't the way home! Where are you taking me, Gran? The hospital! Like I said, you need a chiropractor! No! I just need to be home with my family! We can't let Dennis and his dad see you like this! Think of the shock to their systems! Hurry, Dennis! We're running out of time! There's nothing else for it, Nasha! You've got to help me! <coughs> you do the stairs while I do upstairs! <coughs> See? I knew you'd like pork sausage flavour enhancer! office is closed until Monday. Just take me home, Gran. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we could try somewhere else. Take me home! OK, but I've got a feeling you're not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's so good to be home. <laughs> Yoga classes are fine, but there's nothing like coming back to your own lovely, peaceful home. That was close, Dennis. Too close, Gran. But at least everything's under control now. Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! Oh! Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? 
There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the life. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> We'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> yeah, doggy, doggy. <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue and a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> Time for action. Crumbs away! Sorry, Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis! <laughs> Oh! Hello. What's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, OK. Hmm. This gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy, step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Whoa! What's that? I'm out to here! And I predict a nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> What? What is it? If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Walter! No! Don't move! Huh? I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> it's OK! Catch this! Oops. Bad news! Hooligans! <laughs> <laughs> Typical Dennis. Still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
Just one hair on his head is hurt. You'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. <laughs> I've got you! Dennis, let go! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> Maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chopped chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles! <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave me alone! Clear off! Leave him alone! Go away! And while one of them was messing about in a boot, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you, oh, you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, you horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Ha-ha! <laughs> what have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well, then, that's a, that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and, and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. Uh, uh. No! Ha, ha, ha! Bullseye! Yeah! And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I I uh... I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. <laughs> Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. See, Curly, I 
told you Nasha had a hundred fleas. You owe me an ice cream. Oh. See you later, dear. <sighs> Can't you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Huh. Ah, no. oh. How did that get there? Ah, it should be in its proper place. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrimp! He mustn't see you here! Quick! Ah, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter? He's here for the summer to learn the business. Rubber bands everywhere? Well, spotted lad, you're learning fast. Masha, don't! What's that noise? Uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> mm. Come on, Walter, I'll show you the canteen. How about some lemonade? Hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need... I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. <coughs> Quality, elasticity, efficiency. Herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad will have us helping him out. <laughs> My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. <laughs> What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Walter, there you are. Um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbax, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. Heard a lot about you, son. 
Scrimp tells me you got them rubber bands licked. <laughs> yes, sir. What have you got there? Paper clips, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. So I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's his name? From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nashie. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless... Uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes. Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Bucks hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about um, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is! And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three! Run for it, lads! <laughs> Get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Bucks. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pieface, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with the lemonade and cake? Forget it, Dane. I think Pieface is in love. <laughs>